some of the common questions I get from patients might include, um, how do I fix my bunion? You know, I have flat feet, you know, is that a bad thing? What can I do about it? A bunion is basically one of the most common uh, foot uh, conditions or deformities in the, in the forefoot uh, that we typically see. Um, on a regular basis. With any treatment, it really is dependent on the patient's uh, goals and, and what they want as well. From an aesthetic point of view, really the only way to correct a bunion is to undergo a surgical procedure. Um, and of course, before we even consider surgery, we would go through a lot of conservative options as well. These could be things based on the individual's foot posture, their biomechanics, so we would talk about footwear, we talk about uh, foot orthoses. That's all part of the, the management plan, so incorporating holistic approach to care. So common perception that uh, most of our patients have from us, uh, sometimes they think that we only deal with nails, but actually it's so much more than that. Wounds, nail surgery, biomechanics, which is like uh, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis. One of the most common questions we get would be, do I have to take off my shoes? So yes, you need to take off your shoes because we do not have x-ray vision. We'll need to be able to assess your foot without shoes and socks on because we need to see how you walk, how your foot functions. We need to look at your wounds and we need to be able to also check the shoes that you wear on a daily basis. So please bring along those shoes that you have if you do need to come in to see us. One question we get is, do I have a flat foot? And at the end of the day, uh, the answer is we don't really care if you have a flat foot. You know, flat foot is, is just a shape. What we're concerned with is the function of your foot, okay, the, the dynamic function of your foot and any type of pain that you might be experiencing. Another question we get is how long will this take to recover? Um, and, and honestly, how long is a piece of string? Like that's the kind of answer I'll usually give because we don't know. Um, a lot of it's to do with how that consult goes, a lot of it's to do with how bad is that injury? How long has it been there? Also a lot to do with how driven this particular patient might be towards healing themselves. So if they do a lot of the rehab, they do a lot of the suggestions we give, okay, we might use orthoses, we might just use exercises, okay, whatever that might be. We might be debriding hard skin for ulcers, um, the dressings that they use. Everything that we do um, is really down to the patient helping themselves. We can only guide them. The one health advice I would give our patients would have to be um, you have to do your rehab. You have to take ownership of what you're doing. If you're not willing to, to, to do what the, the exercises, wear the footwear, the dressings, etc., offload your foot, um, anything that we say, then, then ultimately nothing's going to happen. The treatments will fail because it really, really is up to the patient themselves. For me, I always believe in my patients, so um, keep going. <laughs> That's, it's very simple, but uh, I think it's, it's uh, when you believe in your patients and you show them there's hope. Before your appointment, please uh, bring along the shoes that you could normally wear, like your sports shoes or your school shoes, and bring along any of the dressings that you need to use for uh, any of your wounds so that we could use them or we can assess them. And um, yeah, just come on time. <laughs>